So ladies and gentlemen, we have a new arrival today and that is January 95 Nissan Skyline GTR R33. So in this video everyone, let's check ins and out of this beautiful GTR R33 which is by the way going to be USA import legally in about a week from now. So let's check it out. As the car arrived and boys prepared it up for sale, that was very very quick because the car itself is pretty clean condition. So we start the check of the car from the engine compartment. As you guys can see by the way guys, bonnet, I mean even this one, the tower here, it's been intact. Most of the time a lot of GTR33s go really bad on this uh, the, the cover, but it looks really beautiful from here. Let's take a look at the engine compartment and as you guys can see that's a very much stock condition. Not much upgrades or updates to the engine compartment. Here's the chassis number. For this one, if you guys want to track it down, but general information is a GTR 33 405, so it's a 405th GTR 33 ever manufactured by Nissan, so which is pretty cool. So, engine, everything about the car is pretty much stock once again. And from here, we, we can notice that, guys, um, right here, timing belt on the car has been changed in the in about 15 years ago, wow, when the car had 84,965 kilometers. Currently, the car has got 141,000 kilometers, which is equal to about 75 to 80,000 miles. But, ladies and gentlemen, what I can tell you is that the car is pretty good for its mileage and age. As you guys can see, that engine walls are pretty much shiny. So one of the things guys, strut towers are original, it's been not been repaired, as you guys can see that's a little bit of a, I guess some, the previous owner tried to like uh, paint it with a bullpen or something like that, but it's nothing really. Pretty clean condition, pretty original engine compartment of the car, so what I'm going to do right now is let me shut down the bonnet so that we get to see the beauty of the car, let the engine compartment closed. And here it is. It's got the BBS Silver wheels. It looks pretty awesome on the car, I can tell you. The car is accident free, guys, and very much originally kept as it was manufactured from factory exactly 25 years ago. This one is January 95 that makes it USA import legal under 25 year old to be imported to USA immediately. And I'm making this video today, 22nd of December which means it's already well, January 2020. Wow, time passed so fast. Anyways, let's take a look from this angle. And as you guys can see, very beautiful, very beautiful condition. One thing I didn't like about the car is that here, this is the main issue again, but it's not a main issue. It's a very minor issue, but for the condition of the car, this is one of the main issues I would say because it was a little bit rusted or something like that. And previous owner with a bullpen probably tried to paint it off or seal it off to make, to make the car look good. But I guess one minor bodywork job would fix it and make it look really, really good. Seals on the car are pretty good as well. It's a little bit opened up here, but it's nothing really. And the color went off a little bit, which is expectable, but overall condition of the seals in the corners of the glass is pretty good, I would say. But pretty much good confidence. As you guys can see, that's pretty clean and well maintained. Let's take a look at the interior of the car. And here are the seats. Again, guys, it's pretty much original condition in all the way from engine compartment, exterior to interior of the car itself. So this part, a lot of GTR 33, so that GTR 34s will get smashed, cracked, and got really ugly. But this car, as you guys can see, that's pretty clean as it is condition. Of course, shift knob is after market. So as the boots got worn off because of the age, 25 years old is a pretty, pretty long uh, time. So. But again, we added most of the time we end up changing the shift knob. I mean, the, the, the boots for both parts, you know, emergency brakes as well as the shift knob, uh, the, the shift boots. For about 100 bucks, it's gonna be brand new, not a problem at all. Interior looks pretty clean and original. We have some uh, extra parts in the glow box, and here's the aircon. 
let's check if the air conditioner on the car works and most of the time gtr 33s have no problem or whatsoever with their air conditioners here we go the low is pretty strong we can turn it off and pretty hot too here's the interior guys what do you guys think it's a uh, and uh As we talk about the condition of this GTR, two things I want you to focus on, boys haven't been able to finish up, which is of course, as I said a little bit earlier, changing the, the boots right here, both of them is gonna be changed to brand new ones very soon before the car is actually listed on our website. And of course, the this part, as you guys can see, it's got the genuine 100, 141,900 kilometers. This is genuine mileage. It hasn't been tampered or this, it, with the seal, it's confirmed mileage, okay? But one thing, is broken on this is that this one as you guys can see that it has this 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 one say it has to stay at the ampere 1000 right here but it is broken which is a very common problem with lots of gtr 33s so what we will do is we will be fixing it before we are going to be offering it for sale so it's going to be perfectly fine so that when i press the gas pedal it's going to be jumping all the time but except that this gtr is beautiful ins and outs and it drives very beautiful as well which and then further in this video i will be showing you guys the performance of the car but guys it drives beautiful because i was driving it a little bit earlier oh i didn't show you guys the trunk let's take a look at the trunk compartment on the car and it's got some spare tires Another problem with GTR 33s, which this GTR does not have, is the dumper. Most of the time, dumper of GTR 33s got out of work, and basically, when it does, it the the, the, the basically the trunk doesn't hold it. It keeps coming down all the time. But this GTR's dumper looks pretty good. And again, this one needs to be cleaned properly, which is not a problem as well at all. And I don't want to focus on that. And the car has got some aftermarket extra parts here, which is gonna be given to the owner whoever ends up purchasing this particular car so i don't want to pull out the spare tire but i want you guys to see what the spare tire compartment looks as it is from here looks pretty good don't you guys think anyways let's leave it and let me show you guys a little bit of the underbody side of the car as well from here here we go send it to bun right here the cover this one everyone is very easy to get rusty and as you guys can see that it's got a little bit of rust here in there i guess visible but it's easy to fix it's about 80 i mean 100 bucks done we can install a brand new on that one it's not a problem to mention at all so we have seen pretty much ins and outs of this car so far so good next thing i want to do is i'm going to take this car out to the back side and show you guys how it performs on the road so with the dealership plates are on the car i'm gonna be on my way to the back side and show you guys the performance of the car by the way guys if you notice the handle on this car is so clean and it feels so good it's pretty awesome on and i'll be on my way So far so good as I'm driving this GTR, the performance of the car is just fabulous. The way it drives, the way it pulls, transmission, boosts, everything is just perfect, I can say that. Um, the car has been on the road for a while. The previous owner, before we purchased the car, has been driving the car regularly and it has been, uh, the car has got a lot of services from our shop too for that matter as we change the engine oils timing belt time to time so we know this car we know the owner and he is uh, such a great gtr fan and he has taken care of the car very very well over the past many many years that's one of the reasons why the condition of the car i mean the performance of the car is such a good good uh, at the moment whoa there's a police right here i'm happy to have my plates on and all good you see we are patrolling and we are we are patrolling the shop as well and this, those guys are always popping here and there and sometimes they move the cars without a plate which is dangerous yeah but 
it's always good to have the lights. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I got a little scared right now, so you know. <laughs> because I was like, do I have the blades? Oh my god! <laughs> Anyways, they are tough. They are tough. Japan is a country based on the rules, and society has very strict rules, and you're not, you're, we are expected to follow those rules strictly. So, but again, they're doing the job. We are very much thankful for them. Coming back to the car, guys, again, drives pretty good. Let me take it to the highway, and probably while I am on highway, I won't be able to record it, but I'll ask one of our boys right now to record me that drive past from the shop so that you guys get to see the performance of the car from outside as well. So, rewind, check out. Okay. Here I am at the backside shop and I'm going to park this GTR here for for the next for the next couple of hours at minimum and until then I have to finalize a couple of things but anyways boys I have to wrap up this video that I wanted to show you guys off this GTR 3 just arrived to the shop well it arrived a couple of days ago but just about to become ready for sale again a couple of things we have to get it done and will be done pretty soon and today i am about to make another video and this video is going to be special on nissan skyline gtr 33s and as you guys can see i got a couple of them right here this one is lm we just purchased it from the auction this is one of one hell of an lm uh, it's a, it was a great b interior grade four interior b very clean this is one of the one of the hundred 102 ever manufactured v-spec lms and the car is in a beautiful condition it needs some love and care this is something that we can definitely take care of now the midnight purple just arrived guys this one is crazy clean 37,000 kilometers only and uh, yeah you're about to sell this car to somebody which i don't want to give at the names right now but it's still in the process and i'll keep you guys updated but soon another video i'll be making here right now is i'll be making the lineup all GT of all gtr 33 is available for sale at the shop so stay tuned for that video which is gonna come right after this video so this was quick video about this gtr 33 thanks for watching guys this bad boy is available for sale i think it's 38,800 or so usd but i might be making a mistake as well but i'm gonna leave the link for this car on our website available for sale and if you are interested please check that video uh the, the 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 link out and i look forward to hear from you guys with regards of your inquiries if you are interested in this beautiful gtr 33 so ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching as usual and have a fabulous day cheers <laughs>